editor at Women's Health Magazine. When I think summer, I think sandals, but a pretty painted toe can give you a little boost of confidence all year long too. I'm going to show you how to do an easy do-it-yourself at-home pedicure that is maybe a little more sanitary and a lot cheaper than one you might get at the salon. First, you're going to soak your feet in a warm salt bath with Epsom salt for about 5 to 10 minutes. It actually does more than feel great on your feet. It's going to soften dead skin cells to help you exfoliate better later. Next, you're going to clip your nails straight across. Don't round the edges or you can cause an ingrown nail. Then use a bump block to remove any ridges on your toes and exfoliate the feet a little bit. You can actually make your own exfoliating scrubs from things you might have on hand already, like body wash, a little sugar, and a pumice stone. Then, rub your feet in a back and forth motion, but be gentle, don't rub your skin raw. And cutting off your calluses, don't even think about it. After a quick rinse, pat your feet dry and apply a little bit of lotion. Then you're gonna wanna swipe each nail with some rubbing alcohol to remove the residue from the lotion and help your polish stick better. Now for the good part. So you can separate your toes with one of these babies, but you don't have to. You can actually use a paper towel to move in and out through your toes so polish doesn't get everywhere. Then you're gonna start with a base coat to protect the nail. It's clear, so you don't have to worry about the stains. Pick a fun color, and then starting at the base of the cuticle, brush a stroke down the middle of the nail. Apply a little pressure so the bristles fan out. And then brush a stroke down each side. You can uh, fix any imperfections with your finger, or use a cotton ball with a little bit of remover. After the big toe, the little toes are actually a breeze because they're a lot smaller. They usually only take one stroke or two, if that, to cover. Now, after you've finished all 10 toes, you can apply a second coat, and then add a top coat to seal in the color and prevent chips. After your nails have dried for about 15 minutes, you can actually apply a little olive oil to lock in moisture and prevent smudges right on the cuticle of the top ball. The last step, Slip on your best open coat sandals and show off your DIY petty to everyone. For more tips and tricks, go to womenshealthandag.com.